The one we live on is the lithosphere. The one with the water is the hydrosphere. The gas in the air is the atmosphere. Alright, thumbs up if you like that video. Alright, anybody got thumbs down? Anybody like I'm just reaching this up? No? Everybody like? Alright, good job. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna move on to our vocabulary card. We also have a copy of this in front of you. Alright. Anybody wanna be one of my strong readers? Go ahead. What's the atmosphere? The gases that surround Earth or another planet. Awesome, okay. Can I get a volunteer to read my sentence? Go ahead, okay. Awesome, okay. Can somebody take that sentence, which is what you're going to have to do in your assignment, right? Take that, I'm sorry, take that word, right? Take atmosphere, clap it out for me. One, two, three, go. Thank you, okay. Take that word for me, please, and create a new sentence using the word atmosphere. Anybody want to volunteer? Go ahead. I love how you took the word atmosphere and you looked at the definition and said, all right, I got to do this, but I'm going to create a sentence using the definition. I'll take that. Anybody else want to create a sentence using the word atmosphere? The atmosphere pulls down gravity. I love it. Good job. Kiss your brain. Okay? So that's what you're going to do. Don't steal his sentence, please. All right? For your vocabulary words, you're going to take each one of these vocabulary words that are listed on FlowCab. All right? You have to see it in front of you. And I want you to come up with your own sentence. Please don't use the sentence that they provide you, okay? But come up with your own sentence for uh, each one of those words. If you want to draw an image like Caden did, all right? For his image or atmosphere, what did he draw? Earth. Right? Uh, his uh, depiction of the earth, right? Okay, why would his picture relate to that term? Because the atmosphere is earth. Exactly, right? So I need you to give me a picture, give me some type of image, all right? If you uh, draw a stick man like Ms. Richardson, that's perfectly fine. But give me some type of image in the area that has, um, the section that has your image. Give me another sentence and come up with a synonym. Words that means what? Same, okay? Has the word that you put on the paper, all right? You have your iPad in front of you to help you look up in your thesaurus, a synonym for the word, so you should be fine, all right? That's my expectation for your vocabulary. Now, as always, for your vocabulary game, okay, you have two tries to score a high score in your vocabulary try. Uh, sorry, but vocabulary game. How many tries? Two. Two, right? Okay, and Ms. Smith is going to record your highest score, all right? So I want you to go through your vocabulary game and select the best answers, answers okay? All right? Like we measure heat with the thermometer, now the bottom layer is the what? It contains 90% of the air. Use your vocab cards. Yeah. to go through vocabulary at their own pace. Um, as you can see, the 
I'm sorry, the uh, app allows students to not only access the lessons digitally, but they have the opportunity to have it written as well. Um, this allows for instruction to be differentiated because students learn, some students learn better with uh, printed material, some students learn better with uh, digital technology in front of them. So we want to always provide them with uh, those opportunities. And I love Flocabulary as a tool because as a instructor, you have the opportunity to not only have whole group instruction, you also have the opportunity to print these resources for your students. So underneath teacher resources with a uh, teacher account, uh, you can provide them with handouts. And what I love about these handouts, of course, besides them being printable, you can also pick standards that are directly aligned to the lessons. So underneath this tab, underneath teacher resources, underneath standards alignment, you can simply find whatever state you're in, enter that state, search it, and pull up those standards that are directly aligned to the list. So not only is vocabulary a great tool that's actually uh, derived from uh, Nearpod, not only is it a great tool and resource to um, individualize instruction for students, it's a uh, standard aligned. And that's what I really love about it because it gives you that accountability factor to make sure that we're giving, providing our students with supplemental resources that are actually aligned to state standards. Uh, moving on from science, even though these students are in their science class and this is their lab uh, class right now, um, Typically, this teacher, Miss Alexis Smith, she uses this pro, uh, this platform. I'm sorry, not platform. <laughs> she uses this program um, often in her classroom to provide her students uh, that additional support that they need for lab. So right now, as you can see on her board, her lesson for this week is all about weather and air pressure. But this vocabulary lesson, specifically aligned to weather, just gives them the, that additional um, knowledge that they need to progress through the lesson. If I was to teach a math or social studies or English class, I would simply just select whatever topic I want. Um, students have access to so many different lessons on vocabulary. And once again, all of these resources are not only available digitally, but they're available um, in, form of, in form of teacher handouts for teachers to print for students. This one I love as well. Um, it provides students with current events. And one thing that I used to do as a teacher and what I encourage other teachers to do is always try to incorporate any type of current events um, into whatever lessons they're teaching at the time. Along with that, it also provides teacher teachers life skill courses. So courses such as for Louisiana, a quest for success, um, even for PE. Um, do forget about you PE teachers. There are many lessons that are geared toward, uh, one second, hygiene and physical fitness. As soon as I can find one second. Here we go. Health and wellness, social, uh, social emotional uh, wellness, those type of things. There are many lessons on here. And lastly, I want to show you this. Okay. So on this page, underneath the profile page, your students have access to get on vocabulary like these students are um, that are behind that are behind Ms. Smith. <laughs> um, your students have access to get on vocabulary independently and work on their assignments individually. So this username and password right here, uh, all they have to do is type in the username and password and it'll take them directly to whatever lesson the teacher assigned. They can join via class code um, through Google Classroom, or teachers can directly import the uh, classes, yeah, the class activities, I'm sorry, in Google Classroom, and they can join that way. So it gives you a variety of options to be able to um, join vocabulary. Transparently, it's a great resource. I love it. I encourage my teachers to use it. 
often. Um, I beat them over the head with that along with Nearpod and any other um, fun engaging activities that they can use and incorporate in the classroom because it does um, get the student buy-in and it does help their overall performance. And then too, for classes like this, like your lab classes or RTI classes, it provides additional support and it's engaging and it does not drive the kids out. You can kind of switch up the routine in the classroom. So. That's what I love about vocabulary. And, uh, maybe I have a student or two to tell me, tell tell you what, what they love about vocabulary. LaBerry, what do you like about vocabulary, son? What I like about vocabulary is like you get to retry and do your read, like with the vocab game, because you, you get two tries with the quiz. You can keep trying over to get 100 and you get it. That's what I like about it. And the video, the video is funny. The videos are funny. <laughs> Thank you, LaBerry. Anybody else want to share what they like about vocabulary? Why they feel like it's engaging? Uh, vocabulary uh, is like second chance that you can take, like get your grade done. I'll take that. All right. That's it. Anybody else? Like normal person. All right. Well, go ahead. You make the work, gentlemen. I appreciate your time. Thank you all. Thank you all. Signing out. <laughs>